Okay, so I'm doing an unboxing of this uh, Ozark Trail folding camp kitchen. Uh, I just pulled it out of the box. Um, and it says it looks like that. I don't know if it's small or what. It comes in the bag. This is the way it comes. This is all that's in the box. Okay, the box is empty now. This is what came out of it. Okay. So, uh, I wonder if it just opens up or you gotta come assemble it. I'm not too sure. Let me. Let me get that open and I'll try to set up see what show you guys what it is. Oh, there's a lot of foam padding. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Some legs. I don't know what that is. Looks like a this is one of those folding type tables. Like that one. That's a folding table too. It fits up in a baggie. Um, and this looks like... Probably the bottom. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to try to get this set up. And, uh, this bag actually looks... Oh, there's some, one more thing in there. This bag actually looks pretty decent compared to most bags I have, like especially like some of the things. Um, yeah, there's some durability to that. It's not like a cheap 11 out of 10 bag. You know. Of course, you got the Ozark Trail symbol there too. So let me get this all unpacked a little more. I'll come back. So the instructions are on the back, which I got read a little, but it doesn't feel like it's paper, so it'll probably dry up. It's like that stuff that comes, well, you probably seen that on another tarp bag or something like that you've had. Um, so we took out all the components, number one. We unfolded the base. Now it looks like you have to put some long metal tubes there. Uh, so we'll follow all these instructions. And then, uh, see how it comes out. Okay, so this like folds up like that. But for some reason it like springs out. It has those our trail logo on there. Um and then it just clip it on there. So so far is, Yeah, it's a good height. It's at about I'm about five nine, it's about um almost it's like my hip basically. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I'm still doing Alright, so this is why there's so many parts. Apparently like this was two extra slats and bars you had those puppies in but it's very convenient you just snap them into these little like c grip things like they have tension on there with the plastic um yeah and, but you just snap things i guess once you get used to it it'll be okay uh, right now i'm still going through directions trying to figure it out all right and that goes there i'll snap that in there all right i got a bandana from canada from when i went down there but basically um it looks like these are gonna go into each other and make a long pole. And it's gonna go back here. So this is a spot down here. I was wondering what that was. I think it's gonna go into there. So I'm gonna figure that out. Let me see if it works right with the camera set up here. All right, so to get the pole together, looks like you just slide it in. And well, you had to unclip this first. It's like a little latch. And then slide it in, latch it back up. You got a pole. Looks like it goes back here with the same kind of latch system. Now I have a problem with it, so I'm gonna figure out what's wrong with it. All right, so I guess I just had to push a little harder. Um, I got it in. All right, so we got the pole in. That's where you can hang your light. And then uh, the rest is looking good. I think it's at a good height. 
can see, so it's above my hip. Look. When I bought this, I was scared about the height, but it actually looks like about a good table size. All right, so that was the Ozark Trail uh, camp kitchen table or folding camp kitchen table. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to put this thing on. I gotta get that on. And I'll show you at the very end. That's that thing pole I just put. Has a little mesh netting on the bottom for storage, but uh, we'll get the pole I forgot. Now this thing came up, like all folded up. So I unfolded it and I thought, well, where'd you go? But you just gotta, looks like it just clips in, clips into the back. And here are the hanging things for your, um, for your cups and stuff like that. Put them on. There's two holes back here. I wonder if it'll make a difference if you went this way. Oh yeah, the hooks will face the other way if you did that. Which I think will be better. You slide straight in, I'll give you a different view. Alright, so it just goes into there. I haven't done the last one, so I'll show you that too. It's actually really easy. It doesn't feel like it needs a snap or anything. Um, so let's put that in there. Press it in. This one might be a little more difficult because this one's already in. Let me pull that. There we go. There we go. So now you can hang some cups if you want. On that. And that's the Ozark Trail Camp Kitchen. Little thing you put cups on. This you can put the light. Uh, it's a nice little pull for the light. Got the logo right there, and this is where you can put your camp stove. So, uh, I think it's good. All right, we're about to make some sausage and egg. It's a good camp meal. Uh, we used to do it all the time with scouts. I think basically because the sausage gets the pan all oiled, and uh, you don't have to bring any butter or anything like that. Um, and then we heat up some tortillas too. So, uh, I got a little flat skillet for that one. But I'm using this uh, Ozark Trails table. All right, we're doing sausage. We're doing sausage and egg in the well, sausage and egg tacos in the Sam Houston National Forest. There's pretty much nobody around the forest. All right, like I said, sausage and egg is a pretty good camp uh, meal. Um, we do it in the scouts all the time. I don't understand why, but now I realize how easy it is because sausage butters up the pan with the lard or with the grease or whatever it has in it. And then you don't have to pack any butter and stuff like that, okay? And uh, it's smells good in here. Let's hope the animals don't attack me because if I saw a random person cooking this, I might stand for it.